Hey, welcome back everyone. It's KB here. So today I want to show you guys the new Android emulator, the BlueStacks 5. And I have a great news for those people who plays Android games onto their PC using BlueStacks or any other Android emulator. Based on my test, I can say that BlueStacks 5 is the best Android emulator and I will show you that why and how okay as we go on to the video but first now let's get into how to get bluestacks 5 so obviously go to the official site of bluestacks i will put a link in the description you can go there and visit this site here you will be able to download bluestacks 5 and uh, as they say here faster lighter and game changer uh it is actually 100 percent true based on my test and i will show you as we go into the video actually okay to get the bluestacks 5 you just have to click on try bluestacks 5 beta okay click on it and it will download the bluestacks 5 so as of now this is in beta which means testing it's not a stable one but uh, still it's uh, very impressive okay so download this if you just want to try right now but uh, if you want to wait for this table just wait but now uh, the real thing begins why i'm saying that bluestacks 5 is the best android emulator so i'm gonna launch bluestacks 5 beta okay just like that and you will notice a lot of changes here um, it's a lot cleaner now actually let me pull up my task manager and show you how much resources it is using by default. Okay, so just scroll down to make sure that nothing else is being uh, running like beside BlueStacks, you know. It's very complicated, but uh, just look at this BlueStacks player and uh, you can see this is the BlueStacks 5 is using only 63 megabytes of ram and almost 0% of cpu that's the bluestacks 5 now let me launch bluestacks 4 okay where is 4 i think this one is bluestacks 4 and uh, you can see you can just compare it with the bluestacks 5 and it has lots of things going on it's not as clean as BlueStacks 5. This is BlueStacks 5 and this is uh, BlueStacks 4. And uh, the real thing, let me show you here. <laughs> okay, this is the game changer actually. I'm gonna pull up my task manager here and you can see BlueStacks 4 is using almost like 300 megabyte of our RAM but still the BlueStacks 5 is using only 59% of the RAM. This is freaking amazing, okay? If, um, okay, this is BlueStacks 5. And you can see the BlueStacks 4 is using lots of uh, applications to run it. It has like one, two, three, four of the applications, okay? Let me open up the Google Play Store in BlueStacks 4 and same thing goes for the BlueStacks 5 and I'm going to pull up the, uh, and, uh, the, the task manager and you can see it is using a little bit more uh, RAM but the BlueStacks 5 is still like around 70 megabytes of RAM and if we go down and try it, you know, sometimes uh, some processes of the applications are hidden so we have to find that but it looks like all of the processes of uh, these applications is being shown at the top so just just look at it how big difference is there in ram and cpu usage so as they advertise here on their website the bluestacks 5 is faster lighter and game changer it is 100 percent true if you look at the official video of bluestacks 5 or you just you know look at this uh, the stats it says 40 percent faster setup time 40 percent less ram usage and uh, the library of game and all that is like same okay who cares about that but the performance is actually better 
and you can see by yourself and uh, you can also look at the introducing video okay the introduction video of uh, blues text 5 and uh, yeah it is actually the performance based and that, as they mentioned here introducing blues text 5 and the performance based okay and you can tell by yourself like uh, here you can see they have huge huge difference in uh, the old bluestacks versus bluestack 5 it is using so much less ram in bluestacks 5 because you know it is much cleaner it is lighter and you notice uh, something here in bluestacks 5 and 4 if i open uh, the application in bluestacks 5 it will open just like it would open in phone but uh, in Bluestacks 4, it was like a tab system. Okay. Close tab. Yeah, tab system. And uh, it, it, I don't like this. I don't like this. If it, it was beneficial for the performance, I would love to have this, you know. But uh, this one is much cleaner and much better, you know. Everything is so clean, so fast. But in Bluestack 4, you can see by yourself, huge difference huge okay and uh, as of now as of now the beta bluestacks 5 there is nothing else such as game center or, or anything like that or maybe they will release some kind of um, application separate application for the game center but uh, uh, i hope they won't add anything like this okay uh, it just takes lots of ram and cpu and all that so having a cleaner and lighter android emulator is very good okay that's what the blue stacks is doing here and uh, even if you go to like uh, you know there is no skin nothing like that it is now just cleaner you can see if we go to the settings, there are only a few settings, but in BlueStacks 4, a lot of settings, uh, unuseful settings, you can see. If we go to the settings, lots of settings and not that clean, but in BlueStacks 5, you can see it has a dedicated big page and uh, just useful settings. That's it. It, it feels so minimalistic and so clean so yeah that's it i'm i'm just uh, uh, i'm just going to wait for the bluestacks 5's um uh, stable build then i will make a entire video on fastest android emulator and i will compare uh, the bluestacks 5 with other android emulators to see which one is faster and which one uses the less ram and resources and all that okay and uh, for now it looks very promising you know and you can see here uh, the blue stacks agent blue stacks host they are being hidden now it's from the uh, uh blue stacks for older blue stacks they have lots of processes going in the background so uh, it's still using lots of ram and cpu because they have multiple processes going on in in the background so you can see these are from the blue uh, blue stack 4 if i close blue stack 4 right now let me close and one more thing blue stack blue stacks 5 doesn't have a system tray icon which is a good thing i'm gonna quit the blue stack 4 and there we go everything is gone and now you will only see blue stack 5 here and nothing else and it is just using around 90 megabytes of ram and this is the only android emulator which runs on such low resources in my opinion okay and almost all the android emulators uses like uh, combined all processes around 300 to 500 in like unusable state like when we are not using it so so that's that okay and uh, one more exciting thing about the android this android emulator is that they have this new eco mode which 
makes this Android emulator use even more less CPU and RAM. If we turn this on and we can uh, uh, turn on the FPS, we can also lock the FPS too. For example, if you just use some Android apps that doesn't need lots of FPS, we can just lock the FPS too. So right now it's uh, locked five. It will run on only five FPS, but it, it is going to be very slow. Yeah. That's a eco mode when you don't want this Android emulator to use RAM. So this mode is only useful when you don't want uh, to play games or anything like that. You just want a one application opened and maybe chat application or something like that. And you can just turn on the eco mode and it will not use that, that much of RAM and CPU. So I can turn that off like that. And uh, it's uh, back to normal now, just like that. And it is super fast as of now. Yeah. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. As I said, I'm going to do a entire new video on fastest Android emulator once this gets a stable build. Uh, as of now, this is in beta. So yeah, we just have to wait for this stable to do a fair test. So yeah. And now let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this new Android emulator, the Bluestacks 5? I'm really excited. Like it's, it's, it's really the lightest Android emulator in my opinion. Yeah, and fastest too. So leave your opinions in the comments and I will read and I will reply to your comments. And uh, that's it, hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for the official site from there. You can get the beta version of this. Uh, once the stable is uh, released, you will also get the stable version of the Bluestex 5 from the same place. So. That's it. I will see you next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.